Time now for a look at what happened in politics this week. The public inquiry on foreign interference has wrapped up its first week of testimony. It largely focused on administrative issues like transparency while protecting security. Today, the public safety minister, Dominic LeBlanc, took the stand. I was struck when I became minister of public safety the extent to which we're net importers of intelligence information. The federal government is providing $362 million to help shelter asylum seekers. On Thursday, Immigration Minister Mark Miller said Quebec would be getting $100 million. And on Friday, the Deputy Prime Minister Christian Freeland announced Toronto would be getting $162 million. And it means, critically, that more newcomers will have a safe and stable place to call home while they get settled in Canada. The Prime Minister is pushing back against Alberta Premier Danielle Smith and her new gender identity policies. If Premier Smith wants to fight someone, uh, stand with us and fight for Canadians on lower grocery prices, on uh, affordable fuel, on more housing, on fighting climate change. Fight with us to defend the rights of vulnerable Canadians. Don't fight against vulnerable LGBT youth. The changes include banning puberty blockers for people under 15 and prohibiting top or bottom surgery for people under 17. Children under 15 would need their parents' permission to use a different name or pronoun at school, and transgender women would not be allowed to compete in women's sports. Smith says she expects to table legislation making the changes official in the fall. And finally, the federal government tabled legislation to delay an expansion to Canada's medical assistance in dying laws. The expansion would allow people to access MAID where mental health is the sole underlying condition. While the deadline had been moved to March 17th of this year, the legislation now looks to come into effect sometime in 2027. Health Minister Mark Holland has said the delay is needed to ensure provinces and territories are ready for the changes. Thank <laughs> you.